beloved in Christ, God's love always gives life. When you and I are speaking the word of God, it is to give life. And as it goes forward in, there is an understanding of God's word and of his love. Then, dearly beloved, it not only gives life, but it gives life abundantly because it creates growth. God, from the very beginning, expressed love. And this is what he has established in his children. He said, they will know you because of the love that you have for one another. And not only the love that you have for one another, Jesus even went farther than that and told us to not hate our enemies. Yes, that's what you have been told, but now you are to pray and love those who despitefully use you. Not condemn them, not criticize them, not try to... Uh, 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 <clears throat> to uh, uh, um, take them from the position that God has placed them in. But dearly beloved, when we begin to love like God, we will begin to extend life once again. You're not hearing much about love these days. You're not hearing even preachers saying love one another. But rather they're taking sides, they are putting up barricades and uh, digging foxholes in order to create battle, to create fight, calling for possible revolutions. This is what preachers are saying from the pulpit. Dearly beloved, this is not of God. This is a new way of thinking. Because God speaks life and life abundantly. But man, in his ravenous, demonic ways, speaks death, speaks revolution, speaks sedition. Beloved, because he has not learned how to live and give life in the position that he is now called into. Beloved, God is life and love. Those who fellowship with him must possess his quality of life. Spiritual life begins with spiritual birth, which occurs through faith in Jesus Christ. Then faith in Jesus Christ infuses us with God's life, which is eternal life. And because of our gratefulness of what God has done for us, we allow the love that is now deposited in us by the Holy Spirit of God, we take it and then we began to uh, replicate and began to share it with those who are amongst us. Now it is no longer our love, but it is God who is now loving through us. Because we are incapable as human beings to love as God loves. God's love is unconditional. God's love in the Greek, it's called agape, <clears throat> a love that has no barriers. But, beloved, we put conditions upon our love. And that's why we can easily be turned with our emotions, be turned by others who is propagating hate. We can yet follow and say, I understand how you feel. Well, be beloved, Jesus never said, 
I don't feel good. I don't feel right being on the cross. He simply said, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And that's a position that you and I ought to have. Forgive them, for they know not what they do. But believing that God will keep me no matter what the conditions are. Because God doesn't keep us because of the environment that we're in. He keeps us simply because we are his children. And if you are his child, it does not matter if the world will not love you. But what does matter is the love that God has for you. And it has given you life. In order you can replicate that and give life to others. Not speak of revolution. Not speak of fear. And always going to uh, 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 befall us. You are a child of God. And you ought to be walking in that authority that God has given you. Beloved. Walk in the love of God today. Be blessed.